So would you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Jenny Nazak. Jenny Nazak is a sustainability educator based in Daytona Beach, Florida. She has an eco-themed blog and radio show and is the author of the Low Footprint Lifestyle Guidebook, Deep Green. She also has a website, JennyNazak.com. Um, the link is below in the comment section, so please check out. Oh, yeah. My tired. urban, it's my yes. urban garb. I've got oh. my cup. Yes. I've got my spoon. Mm -hmm. I even have a cloth napkin in here. Do you carry them all the time? Yeah, I carry them all. The little cloth shopping bag in here. I can take this out and have a shopping bag. Uh -huh. So, it's just I would forget if I didn't have it with me. Mm -hmm. I would forget. So there's my shopping bag. I can unfold it mm -hmm. and, and put fruit or whatever I'm shopping for. In Where there. do you shop? I usually shop at the farmer's market uh -huh. or um, uh, what is it called? Um, Natural Concepts Revisited LLC over on over on Beach Street over on uh, ISB on the other side of the bridge. Okay. She she takes delivery from local farms. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff in town. There's a lot of sustainable stuff in town. Yes. Yeah. How long have you lived in Daytona Beach? Nine years. Nine years. Harvey Avenue. It's Harvey one Avenue. block south. So I always yeah. dreamed of living by the ocean. Uh -huh. So it's, it takes about five minutes or less to walk to the ocean. Mm -hmm. And it's That's great. Yeah. Yes. This is Gallardia. Yes. And then muley grass. Mm -hmm. There is some Spanish needle, the white flower. Yes. Over there. All these things, people call them weeds. People who don't know they what are they not. are, uh -huh. they call them weeds and they think it needs to be mowed and all that. But these are actually all native flowers. They support pollinators. Yes. There's some um, dune daisies over there. Yes. Not everything in the yard is native. Some things are food plants, like this um, lemon tree. It doesn't look like it's doing too well, but it's mm -hmm. hanging, oh, trying to hang lemons. in there. Lemon yeah. tree that mm -hmm. I planted, kumquat tree there. Oh, okay. Very pretty. Other things just kind of mixed in. Like I said, not everything is purely native, but when I first moved in here, this house, I bought mm -hmm. this house in March 2018, mm -hmm. and at that time this was just flat grass, mm -hmm. and any water that landed mm -hmm. would just pour onto the sidewalk. But it doesn't and anymore. now when yeah. I water these plants with a gallon or more of water, mm -hmm. I never see water running out mm -hmm. to the sidewalk. That's mm -hmm. I considered that one milestone. Mm -hmm. It was just dig a hole and mm -hmm. add some in, enriched soil. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you add any fertilizers or do you have to I water? add compost, mm -hmm. I have to water, I catch water in a rain barrel and mm -hmm. I try to use rain water. Oh you on do? It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Like less than two years oh, old. Oh okay. So hopefully yeah, yeah, there yeah. Nice. Okay. This was an, an orphan, this was abandoned in my driveway uh -huh. and so I put it in the ground and uh, there's some is big pine trees Australian across the street. Pine tree? it's Austra um, this is a Norfolk Island pine. Mm -hmm. And then this, this tree came with a house and there's birds chirping up there. Got my okay. little watering can. I collect great water in here. All I do is just open it when I need some more. Uh-huh. But it, I open this when it's gonna rain and it goes in there. It's not a sophisticated setup. Many people have a sophisticated rain barrel setup, mm -hmm. but not me. This is a compost. I put my kitchen scraps in here mm -hmm. and layer it with, with grass and leaves. This is an open barrel. It's the wa the water is low in here. Mm -hmm. It's open, and so since it's open, in case the rain falls, then I put this in here so no animals will get trapped in there and drown. Because I found out the hard way that they could they could a lizard yeah. drowned in there. Yes. I don't want that to happen again. Yeah, and that's another rain barrel. The water mm -hmm. just comes on through there. Mm -hmm. But since it's got a screen, then nobody's going to drown. Because then mosquitoes can come and all yes. that. But I'd like. Mm -hmm use it up very quickly mm -hmm. and then this house this is less than a thousand square foot house uh -huh. but in this part of the country uh -huh. where we historically get um, like 40 something like 49 inches of rainfall a year mm -hmm. then it can collect like 32,000 gallons of water a year a person can collect that much rainwater uh -huh. and yes. so imagine if every apartment building had rainwater collection Every house had some rainwater collection. A lot of my friends have one or two rain barrels, like my native plant friends, but a lot of people don't even have rain barrels. Mm. And we can, not only can we collect really good water for our plants, mm. but we can keep water out of the storm drain system and let it gradually percolate instead of all rushing down there at once. Because if it rains here, the street becomes a river out there. Yes. You know how it is. Uh -huh. And in some parts of Daytona Beach, as some of you all know, mm. there's the bowl, and the water goes down to the low point, mm -hmm. 
everybody focuses on the low point, everybody mm. focuses on the Nova Canal, like mm -hmm. get that vegetation out of the Nova Canal. But really the collection points are everywhere up along that hill, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So each one of us is a collection point for water. Pump. So actually you draw water we from here? We draw water, you can draw mm -hmm. water from here. So like, groundwater? Yes, yes, groundwater. And it has that minerally groundwatery smell. But it's actually, um, there hasn't been uh -huh. salt water intrusion. Uh -huh. It's just fresh water, you can smell it. Really? Yeah. Oh my. Hmm. That's an old school. Yeah, old school. Oh. So then when the power goes out, I will huh. always I always have water. Oh, so you changed from the electric changed from to the electric pump manual. to the hand yeah. pump. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. As if oh, I'm okay. having an outdoor party uh -huh. or something. Yeah. Yeah, some a neighbor gave me this old electric coffee maker, uh -huh. but it didn't have the inner parts to mm -hmm. be able to make the coffee, so mm -hmm. I just turned it into a hand wash station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye.